Mixed up on quartet cover over this. Mm. You're, you're smooth. Loving my, my brass instruments. Eat brass, bro. Hmm? That's a woodwind. Oh. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> It's okay, Where's it's not a real orchestra instrument. Where's my brain at? Anyway, <laughs> um... <laughs> anyway! <it's> <laughs> that's, uh, yes. that's a call out. Bankai being Bankai. This is gonna be a very interesting game. Bankai versus Jewel, two very, very skilled players here. Bankai, obviously known for his Pokemon trainer. Uh, very, very good Pokemon trainer. And Jewel, known for his very, very good Robin. Ooh, that was so smart! I was like, is he gonna switch to item oh. and down air? But no, he just stuck with it. He hasn't taken a single percent. That was a zero to death. What, I, what did I he say? He still hasn't about... taken any percent. <laughs> oh man. I, I I do have to say that uh uh Bankai definitely does have a really good grasp on pretty much all of the Pokemon. Yes. Uh and as yes. we're seeing right now, Squirtle is really the advantaged one against Robin, and he's just displaying that. But now he is going to be going to the Ivy Store. Let's see how this runs up working out for him. He uh, doesn't need to spend time with Ivy Store. for the chart. Bizarre. I wonder why. Uh, I think he wanted the surprise factor. He has a lead. Probably. And, like, if yeah. he had... If he hadn't been expecting it and he got hit by that Flare Blitz, he would have had a two-stop. Yeah. He could definitely get away with it, but, um, never count out Jewel. Just... He, I have seen him hit more no, consistent Nosferatu's than probably any. Uh, I, I thought he was dead. Well, I mean, no, that he, was, he, he was stalling dead. away yeah. the, uh, the fire. I, I didn't realize that was something that, that you could do. Hats off to Bankai. But Jewel. His, his, some, uh, my favorite thing about watching him play is his movement. Jewel's movement oh is impeccable. Especially considering that Robin is a character with. In terms of stats, some of the worst, if not the worst, the movement, worst in the movement in the game. But using B reverses, using all these tricky ways of maneuvering in the air, we see that uh, he makes the micro part of mm -hmm. the movement really well. Uh, matter the most. And you can tell that he loves Pokemon Stadium as well, because the way he moves around, specifically the way he moves around that right platform with um, air dodges, B reverses, just short hops, everything, it's just too clean for it to properly understand. Oh, I love that arc fire, because that's normally the place where uh, Bankai is going to be throwing out a down air to yep. get the spike. Mm -hmm. And by putting it right there, he just couldn't contest in the yep. same way that he normally would. It had to be suboptimal. Had to be really safe recovery coming out for Robin. And that's something that most Robin players don't really take advantage of, is the fact that you can almost... Um, Almost, I highlight almost, guarantee a safe recovery because it's not always uh, that easy. Jewel just knows how to make it look easy. Okay, I think he's... Oh, this is actually a really tricky spot for him. Oh, he's no, dead! Is it? Oh, this is almost, very almost. That's is not going to do it. The Charizard switch, and he was really hesitant to switch. Purely because is of the it? fact that no. Oh, yeah, it what? is. Wow. Wow. Jewel popped off a few times there. It was uh, getting really hype at the grabs. I, I didn't think that was going to kill him. Maybe he DI'd it a little suspiciously, but um, overall, I thought Zard was going to live. I'm actually. It was. So when he switched over to Zard. He committed to staying to him, and I think mm -hmm. one of the big requests is like, I'm at this range where like Zard cannot die from anything, mm -hmm. but Squirtle, even if I switch to Squirtle for an instant up air, forward air, I'm yes. just gonna like explode. Right. He can't handle electrical attacks. Right. Um, let alone moves with like a 110 knockback growth. Um, and because of that, he stayed in Charizard, but he ends up racking up the percent mm. to the point where dies Charizard anyway. Like, I, I think the Zard came out because it would allow him to live longer, and sometimes Ivysaur does have struggle killing, but you can get those almost janky kill confirms with uh, Flare Blitz, Up Smash, or just sometimes even jabs as Charizard. He has very strong jabs. Now, one thing that I've been seeing from Jewel all day, Jewel has been, like, consistently getting bopped at the beginning of his set. Yes. He's been, like, getting zero to death. He's been... I think he got zero to death, like, twice already uh -huh. at the beginning of uh, his set. 
but like he's consistently managing to make comebacks and win. And that really has, speaks volumes to his adaptation, his mentality. And it's the sort of thing where the longer the game goes, the better it's going to work out for him. But Bonkai is a really smart, really solid player as well. So maybe we're not going to have that sort of thing. You can never count either of them out. Um, I notice sometimes that Jewel, whenever he switches to male Robin, he just seems to pop off. Um, definitely did earlier in the day. I forget who exactly, but... Um, just hold on to your hats and we shall definitely see. Something I love from Jewel, which um, he definitely adds, helps add some flair to his character, is um, his ability to juggle his items and uh, consistently hold on to them to either help just rack up damage or secure a kill. He's always got a book or sword in his hand the instant it, it leaves his arsenal. And... Yeah, you know what I'm actually thinking maybe he should start doing is, like, switch as Charizard, Flare Blitzing really high. Yeah. Like, because being caught up the ledge has been really messing with him. Like, okay, finally like, manages to actually not just die outright. The book saved him, for sure. Oh, oh and there, there it is! It is. That, that's the what I wanted to see, just somewhat random Flare Blitzes. It's not a gimmick because it is a good way to secure the kill, but... And, like, the thing is that um, if you notice your opponent is just like moving around a lot mm -hmm. or just pushing buttons, then oh, oh wow. wow! He angled it off. And that's actually huge. Wow, that's that a mass, That's a full stock lead. Unless. That Bonkai was down. Man, that what side B is stupid. <laughs> Squirtle side B just does not. Just doesn't do anything. <laughs> Doesn't do good, right? It's it's just so free. <laughs> uh, have you ever footstooled out of it? I mean, just just footstool it. I mean, it's easier said than done, obviously. But it's it's easier than just SDI, sort of. Does SDI even exist in this game? No, it was, it was back in Smash Four when Bayo, people were like, just SDI Oh yeah. Uh, fun times. Never fun times. But, whoa, whoa. good parry. Yeah. I like the fact that when you parry up air, you get to really see the explosion. Oh, and explosions. that down air is so fast. Like, so compared fast. to other down airs, they at least have a little startup. I feel like Ivysaur just flips over and it comes out almost instantaneously. And the hitbox is so it's big. It's massive. It's just a giant red dot above the screen. It's a sphere. It's a globe. It's it's huge. It's everywhere. It's a pocket galaxy that he just summons <laughs> above and below him. When Ivysaur up airs, it's the new definition of galaxy brain. <laughs> Is it though? I mean, don't tell Bonkai. <laughs> I honestly, I think that probably Ivysaur up air and down air are kind of on the chopping block in terms of nerfs. Robin, I don't know, maybe. I mean, I think... Because they're very easy to nerf. They're very Just easy to nerf. I think... Nerf the hitbox, guys. Maybe, maybe nerf the hitbox. Maybe... Nerf the knockback. Too. Knock back a little bit. It, it kill, up, up air kills really early. And here we go. So I, I noticed that he did this earlier. I don't know if he does this every time he plays Robin. That if he loses as female Robin, he switches to male Robin. And more times than not, pops off. Apparently not right now. Almost got zero to death again. But it's the night is still young. Let's never count anyone out. I mean, game one, he got zero to death, and he still won. Right. But uh, Ivysaur, of course, grass type, very susceptible to fire. Charizard, don't know if it'll have the same effect. Oh, I think he wanted to get a... A reset. Just couldn't uh, too much knockback on the down tilt. But uh, still, game wow. almost even percentages. We're doing pretty good. I'm and like, there's ooh. down there. Yeah. Massive hitbox. And now, oh wow. He's just gonna let it rock. Why not? Wow. And uh, switching to Squirtle was a death sentence. Because mm -hmm. being so light meant that that forward smash was able to kill from across the stage. He, he Even thought, Ivy sure was probably going to be able to survive. That. He thought he was safe. And in all honesty, I did too. But we shall... You got to attack those.
got to attack those where the punishment is severe. Oh, good parry on that forward tilt. That can be such a hard move to punish. Mm -hmm. Comes out really quick. Not sure what the exact frame is, but really it's kick, like, all, really quick, almost really safe. Oh, yeah, no, it reminds me of, like, Diddy Kong down tilt. Oh. We all know how much we love Diddy Kong down tilt, but, uh... Well, it doesn't have the same utility as Diddy Kong down tilt. It's no. more of, like, a safe, pokey thing right. put on pressure. It doesn't lead into anything, really. I mean, it can mix up into, like, grab or dash attack. If you hit it, I think it, uh, it trips, but... Jewel almost going off the top there with uh, up air, and it's just pocket galaxy hitbox. <gasps> this is really bad for him. Oh, we just managed to miss that. Uh, Robin's safe. His recovery is so much better in this game. So, and this is a, this is something I've been meaning to ask uh, a Robin player, but when it comes to. Um, Robin's aerials now, you have to input them as a smash attack, right? Ah, uh, I believe so. Yeah, that's one of those new mechanics that I'm just not too sure about, but... I mean, I think it was always kind of like that. Kind of, sort of, eh. Nair being able to... That was that, really that's, good. That's what, he, that's what he wanted. But <laughs> we'll just... Fair for fair. Very fair. And I love every time Jewel does that, I love seeing it. The falling or the, the very short up air into aerial combo is. It just racks up damage so well, especially if you have Leaven Sword out, because of course Leaven Sword just does Ooh. insane damage. <gasps> oh, okay, this is actually a really bad spot for Bonkai. Oh. That might be it. Ridiculous no, no Leaven Sword keeps if he him alive. Had, if he had Leaven Sword, he he's stuck on the legs, that's it. He'll just die here. That's a zero to death. Yep. JV2. And the key to victory lies with him. Key to victory. Shout out DJ Khaled. I don't know. Every time I've seen Jewel switch to uh from female to male uh Robin, he just seems to pop off for some reason, either first or last stock, as we saw there. Very uh solid zero to death. I just love that little B reverse he did into hop back on stage with uh the neutral B. Quick question, Devin, when did we get the slowdown technology? Oh, 